what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, got a boxer rumor video. Let's get into it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Check out the boxer rumor playlist. Don't forget, you can find us on Sportscaster. It's the first link or the second link in the description on this video. Uh, check us out www.sportscaster.com at Goodfella Sports with the links there. Streaming platform. I stream all my live streams there. We can't go live over here. So we're going live with Sportscaster and Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0 on YouTube. But, um, yeah, let's get to it. We got a few rumors. Um, we can start off with the Mikey Garcia rumor um, last night after Bob said he wanted to attempt to make the Mike, Manny Pacquiao fight. I got somebody high-ranking that says that um, Mikey Garcia is going to fight Manny Pacquiao next year. So Terrence Bud Crawford won't be getting Manny Pacquiao next year. So uh, Mikey Garcia will be getting that fight, um, apparently. Not sure how he gonna end off his uh how he gonna end off his um you know his career. Most people assume it's gonna be versus Conor McGregor. Um Manny Pac Mikey Garcia and Conor McGregor. What I did understand was last year was supposed to be his last year fighting, but the COVID, you know, kinda messed it up. You expect Manny Pacquiao to come in after Sheesh. Almost it depends when he fight Mikey. Almost two years he's been out the ring. Because he ain't fought since last July. So it's already a year and a half. Almost a, almost a what? Almost a year and a half. Oh yeah, almost a year and a half since they fight. If they don't fight until next March, May, or April, might be July, it might be two full years. So, you know, do you expect him to get off the pond, get off the uh bench and come fight like Terrence Crawford? Like Mikey might be a a, a, a closer fight than people think because he get old overnight. We seen versus Mikey versus Vargas that Mikey can crack. So you seeing that a guy that been out that long, he older. It's like an older car, you know. In the winter, it take a little bit longer to start up and warm up than you know, some of these newer cars do. So, like I said, man, Mikey Pack, I said Mikey Pacquiao, Mikey Garcia gonna have a real, you know, opportunity. He gonna have a real advantage because he been kind of loose. He kind of fought this year, and you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I don't, I don't expect no Crawford, no Pacquiao, who ain't fought in a year and a half. Maybe even longer by the time they fight the fight. No Terrence Crawford, no Errol Spence. Straight up and down. They had a deal. Okay, the deal fell through. I mean, if it was a fifth, we all be drunk. But, yeah, that's going to be an interesting fight right there. You know, with the layoff and if he's going to get old overnight. You know, and Tim Bradley said something in one of the interviews a little bit earlier I seen after the fight last night. And he said that Pacquiao went over there searching for Pat Floyd rematch. He didn't get it. So Crawford go over there. He ain't going to get the fights that he's looking for or, or the fight that he's looking for. He right. Unless he get get it put in a contract, and this this is the way boxing is. People talking about, oh, he on the wrong side of the street. But Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Pacquiao, Sean Porter, they've been on the right side of the street. And you know, Keith Thurman, when 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 Sean Porter got the belt, Sean Porter didn't want to fight Keith Thurman. But Keith Thurman did give Sean Porter opportunity when he had the regular WBA belt. People forget that. You know, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, they didn't want to fight Errol Spence. They dodged him to the last minute. You know, so people got to understand that just because you go over there, it don't mean it's going to happen in a timely manner. Or it's going to happen at all. Earl Spence and Keith Thurman still ain't happen. You know, it took years for them and Sean Porter, to ha Sean Porter and Earl to happen. Sean Porter, Danny held, for, did, Danny held for years from Sean Porter. He hid from him. So, you know, he even retired some more. I told Al was taking some time off. And that's on him. I mean, to me, Danny Garcia is a Hall of Famer. But not, let's not act like if you go over there that you're going to get the fights that you're looking for because you're not. You're not going to get the fights that you're looking for all the time. And he's 33 years old, so how, how much longer can he wait? That's the million dollar question. He can't wait too much longer. You know, so Tim Bradley might be right. He go over there and he don't get the fights unless he put in a contract. Earl Smith said he's ready to go. We're going to see, you know, December 5th if, if that's the case. If not, he win and look impressive. He said, no, not right now. That's not something I want to do. It's a wrap. By the time Terrence Crawford be able to go over there, if he don't end his contract soon, he's going to be 34, 35 years old. You know? And you know, the, it is what it is. But Mikey, but Manny, Manny and Mikey, Manny and Mikey is a straight fight. You know what I'm saying? Just given the layoff and Mikey fought in February, and you know it's gonna be a good fight. You know, Mikey Garcia showed me some tremendous power um, when he fought uh, Jesse Vargas. He, I had never seen Vargas look like that. People said, "Well, Vargas got." I ain't never seen Vargas look like that. 
You know what I'm saying? And he got Banukas in his both gloves. So, you know, you see where Earl Spence kept the distance and stuck with the game plan because you don't want to get hit by that shit. That that dude got real power. I mean, like here, we talk junk about Mikey Garcia, but he can punch. It seemed like he was a better puncher versus Rodgers than he was versus Lipiacs and Adrian Broner. So I don't know if he what he doing different. Did he come if he is he getting more comfortable with the weight class? But he he was hitting like he was hitting like a top three guy <laughs> versus Vargas, but it is Vargas he was drained. So we'll see what he do versus Manny Pacquiao. It'll be an interesting fight. But um we out here Caleb Plant and Anthony uh, uh Anthony Ilya, Anthony Durrell might be in play. Um yeah, that might be uh that might be something that might be in play. Um, they were talking about Caleb Plant versus Eubanks, Eubanks versus Jamal Charlo. Um, but right now they're talking about possibly Anthony Durrell and Eubanks. I thought Anthony Durrell was going to retire, man. Um, you know, I think he, he's pretty much done. I seen him in New York for the Golovkin and the um, Danny Jacobs fight. Not approachable at all, but I ain't holding that against him. He was on the same flight. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he could punch. So if he if he kind of, this, this COVID did him well, he would rest his body. And do his thing, he definitely can, you know, upset Plant if he kind of still got a little bit of juice left in the tank, gas left in the tank, because he can punch, he can counter. But Plant ain't going to sit there with him. I think Benavidez is going to look more impressive versus Darrell because Darrell is a um, a better style for him. Just walk him down and beat him. Caleb Plant will be boxing on him. This might go the distance, in my opinion. Um, Caleb Plant just don't have no aggression. You know, he reminds you of the white Dan Devin Haney. You know, he don't have no aggression. He could punch, but he don't know how to sit there. That's going to probably be a fight unless Darrell absolutely got nothing left. That It's going to go the distance, man. And, uh, you know, Anthony Darrell still cashing checks. I ain't mad at him. You got to remember, he beat with Hopkins lymphoma cancer. Him and Danny Jacobs still here. So just off that, they Hall of Famers. Just off of, you know, the eyes of coming back from, you know, daily diseases, man. Really don't like to talk bad about, about neither one of them for real. But, you know, but that's a solid fight. Um, the real gonna get another payday. Um, I thought it was gonna be versus Andre. I'm like, oh, okay, but Andre, man, most, he probably the most talented fighter I've seen in my lifetime, not win the championship. Bar none, he's the most talented fighter in my lifetime that I've seen not get a championship. But you know, in, in this era, like like you could probably some other guys in the '90s, early 2000s, but in this four belt era plus the ring belt, I plus the IBO, like. It's unbelievable that he couldn't touch a real world title, man. But uh, but that is what it is, man. So let me know what you guys think about Plant Derail, uh, Anthony Derail, the dog to be exact. Shout out to Flint. But um, yeah, you hear that they talking about wanting to do Eubanks and Charlo in December. Uh, one guy told me they want to do pay per view. Um, well, Irv told me pay per view. I don't know where he got his from, but he might have been on point. Um, no, no, he didn't tell me pay per view. My other guy told me pay per view. So they might try to do Charlo Eubanks pay per view in December. Maybe they switch their mind. Not enough time and do a regular do a regular showtime. But it depends if Jamal Charlo wants to come back in December. He said he wanted to come back in December, but obviously things change. You got kids, you got a wife, you got a schedule, you got a life. So it depends. You know, he, they want to do it in December. Him and Eubanks. I heard pay per view. Not sure if they gonna make it pay per view, but yeah, I heard that's the scenario. Charlo said after he beat Derbachenko, he wanted to come back in December. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's a fight that I thought might have been competitive a couple of years ago. But right now, Jamal is just on another stratosphere. You know, what he looked like versus Hogan and what he looked like versus Derbachenko. There's no doubt in my mind that Eubanks is going to get stopped in that fight. I mean, also, the Korobov uh, rematch is on the table as well, too. But there's no, doubt in my, there's no doubt in my mind that Jamal parks him the, the quick way. I mean, I ain't going to say quick. Well, I can see it happening quick, man. But I think Jamal Charlo stop him. <laughs> And I think that's the end of the story right there, in my opinion, man. But, you know, how can you justify putting that on pay-per-view? I can see in the U.K., but apparently a lot of people don't like Chris Eubanks Jr. in the U.K. But, like I said, he was on the short list of Canelo opponents. Um, him, Uterman, and Plant didn't happen. So, he opposed to fight Canelo in May, Eubanks. So, if they match him with Jamal Charlo, then, if, you know, pretty much Jamal can beat him, he ain't going to get that shot of Canelo. So, Canelo... Might not be coming back. Canelo might be exclusively fighting on his own on a fight-by-fight -fight deal. But also, got some news on TFM Lopez. I seen his ankle was in the boot. I think it was his right ankle in the boot. He was doing some chin-ups and pull-ups. I uh, heard he fighting the mandatory next and George Camboso. So, either him or Felix Fidel, he'll be fighting next. So, um, if you wonder what TFM Lopez is going to do next, with no tank, no Devin Haney, I know they don't want to fight him. But at this last performance, why not? 
they will be fighting either Felix Fredejo or George Camboso. And I thought Camboso got a bit of a gift versus Lee Selby, but I, I like him. I picked him to win. So if you ask me what fight I'd rather see, it doesn't matter. Um, Fredejo going to get to go to sleep. Camboso probably could take a better punch, but eventually he going to sleep too. So, um, yeah, I like T.O. in both fights. Good fight for him. Um, personally, I would love to see him step up and fight him. Tank step up and fight him. I would love Briquette to step, step up and fight him. I would love Devin to step up and fight him, but I don't think it, I don't think Lomachenko garnished a rematch for me. He didn't do enough, and you still ain't heard from him. So, say, so what do you do next, Loma? I, I go home. <laughs> that was funny, but hey, let me know what you guys think. Check our box rumor playlist out. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, or video request. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the fastest way, then Facebook, then Instagram. Facebook group there as well, too. Want to make a financial donation to the channel? Cash app CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Shout out to Pound for Pound Boxing Channel. <laughs> he made a bet with me. He better don't kill Brooke. Appreciate it, bro. Um, other than that, man, check out my sportscaster. Check me out at Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0. We'll be live over there. Appreciate the love and support. We don't.